it's early in the morning the birds are out chirping and this project is getting close to being there if you watch any of my other videos got all this trenched out with a trencher i rented on wednesday and then got out here thursday and friday and started gluing stuff up and then saturday was a really big day my wife helped me out we got basically everything ran all the way up to this point there's a section in the backyard that i i still need to do that runs back up to the house but i need to dig it out a little bit also as i get closer to the house so but but we got all of these fittings glued in everything ran up to the downspouts on the side of the house and then we were really pressing because we thought we were going to be having some rain on sunday and even on saturday it was forecast and it was thundering you could hear the, the rumbles of thunder in the background all day on saturday while we were working on it but it never did rain on us we just kept going and we even got a lot of trench back filled in so we'll take a walk here and I'm sure you can understand how that's going to connect up right there and then that'll be a nice little easy clean out so um up here got a yard drain and a clean out there this here runs back up to the house and this was a pretty good gobbledygook set of fittings a couple 22 and a halves there and there so that i could go from deep down in and then jog up and then jog back under that little sidewalk section into that downspout there and then there's another 22 and a half right there to go into that t to fit in and we keep on going another yard clean out and this is where the trench we stopped filling in here um just because we were still working on the glue fittings further back from where I came so need to be able to lift the pipe got another yard drain there that'll be cut down and then this section runs back up to a pair of gutters and this was another gobbledygook of fittings there's a couple of long sweeps there and then a, a Y fitting here and a 22 and a half degree fitting and it comes down and there's another 22 and a half degree fitting before going into that T and then another yard drain clean out spot and look at all this oh it's all cleaned up already that one is too low don't mind it I'm just using scraps that I got for now just to keep things oh and there's obviously a Y fitting here going on right because that's the, so this is the flow of the water and this is the flow of the water and then it keeps on going down here and we even ran some water with a hose through it and it all comes out and flows right out and gets on out of here so i think i may end up doing this a little bit different just after seeing it how how dug out it became i think i might cut back into about this area and cut over with a a 45 and then cut over with another 45 and just straight myself back out here um i don't need the pipe to be so deep in the hillside there like that and then i can backfill all that in and then just have the pipe sticking out right about here um and then build a little concrete form around it to you know keep it looking nice and keep it from getting too overgrown so and then this is the section up here that I have still got to, let me get on this side of this pile of dirt. So I got a lot of this pipe ran up this way, but then I kind of stopped here because I need to finish digging out up here by the house. And that's potentially where I think I'll have a, 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 a downspout from the gutter a new one that I'm gonna add because I think it could really use it back here and that'll tie in here and then I'm also gonna have I think another yard drain kind of like right in here coming off of this little landing pad in the steps because it's a little low here or just awfully flat catches a lot of water so I think I think a little port there would be great so but yeah then that's it and then that will be 
everything there will be tied back in get all this back filled in today my number one goal is to go back up to the front here and get that big channel next to the driveway in place get it all fitted in and then I really want to try to see how much I can get back filled in today so we took Sunday off I didn't lift a shovel at all yesterday uh, I just needed to take a day off from this madness so working down on the ground gluing fittings up down inside of a trench slinging dirt around it wears you out after a while so anyways yep so this is the goal for the day this is the primary goal i want to get this tied in so that way if we do catch any rain that is forecasted for later in the week uh it'll be good to go but from that point i'll just be starting to continue in the backfill after this so all right until next time